So let's go over this Packers versus Lions final injury report coming into Sunday night's massively important game, potentially for both teams, definitely 100% for the Packers. If we win, we are in. And if you guys have not seen my Packers versus Lions prediction video, I put it out yesterday. It's about 12 minutes long. I pre preview the entire game and give my score prediction as well. If you'd like to watch that and you haven't seen it, feel free to click the link. I'll try to put it at the top of the description. So feel free to go watch that if you want to hear my thoughts on this upcoming game. Very, very important game. It's going to be very exciting. So first off here, we have the Packers injury report. Good news overall for the Packers. Only one player has an injury designation going into Sunday's game. Much different than last week where we weren't sure if Keyshawn Nixon or Christian Watson were going to play. Luckily, it looks like both will be playing once again. And so the only player who has an injury designation is tied in Josiah DeGuar with a calf injury. He did not practice on Thursday, was limited today, which is at least a good sign that maybe he could play coming in on Sunday. And Josiah DeGuara isn't a player who plays a majority of snaps. He plays about 23-25% of snaps for the Packers offense. But both Matt LaFleur and A.J. Dillon talked this week about the importance that he brings to the Packers run game, his ability to open holes in the run game. So it will obviously hurt if he is not able to play. But luckily, the Packers have some other talented blockers in tight end Mercedes Lewis, Robert Tunyon, Alan Lazard. Lots of these receivers are very good at blocking as well. But hopefully, Josiah will be able to play. It is a good sign that he was limited, but there is some concern there when it comes to his availability for Sunday night against the Detroit Lions. Besides him, no other Packers player have injury designations. Batiari, after coming back last week, playing for the first time since that appendectomy, seems like he'll be good to go once again, limited all week. Chris Barnes will be good. Rudy Ford, Elton Jenkins, Aaron Jones, who's been banged up when it comes to his knee and ankle injury. Limited all week, but he should be playing once again, or he will be. We have Mercedes Lewis, just had a veteran rest day, as he typically does throughout most weeks. Yash Nyman, a guy who we weren't sure if he was going to play last week. He started the game, went out after 5, 10, 15 snaps. Zach Tom came in, replaced him at right tackle. Maybe that's because his shoulder was hurting him, but he fully practiced on Friday, so it looks like he will be good to go. I'm curious to see if the Packers will start Yash or if they'll want to go with Zach Tom because he's played really well um, as well. So I could see either thing making sense. But I'd say most likely Yash just because he has played a um, majority of the time there at right tackle. But who knows, maybe Zach Tom gets another chance. We have Keyshawn Nixon who will be good to go, which is huge for the Packers special teams unit. Had that insane moment, 105-yard kickoff return touchdown. I was feeling it in that moment. I bet all of you other Packers fans were as well. Hopefully we see another one coming in on Sunday night. That would be perfect. Then we have Aaron Rodgers will be fine, still dealing with that right thumb and a knee injury, which he has played through and he seems to be doing all right, even though not practicing Wednesday, fully practiced Thursday and Friday. And then Christian Watson limited all week with that hip injury, but he played through it last week and he'll be good to go once again. So that's all for the Packers. Now to the Detroit Lions. We have first off, forgive me if I say this name wrong. It is a little challenging. Coyote Owisika. Guard has an ankle injury, didn't practice all week. He'll be out. Not a very crucial player um, for the, you know, starting on the Lions. We have Michael Brockers, defensive lineman, questionable with an ankle injury. We have here Jason Cabinda, fullback, knee injury. He is questionable. We have Deshaun Elliott, who apparently has missed the past two games with a shoulder injury. But Dan Campbell said that unless there is a um, like aggravation or something unexpected happens. Elliot will be playing. We have Jeff Okuda, who popped up on the injury report on Friday, which is today. Yes, that's when I'm filming this. He is now he was limited on Friday, and now he is questionable. So that is one of the Lions starters. He's, he plays a lot of snaps there on defense, so that would hurt their secondary. And then we have Frank Ragnow, center, foot injury. Didn't practice Wednesday or Thursday, limited on Friday, and he is questionable. But it seems like he should be playing. He's dealt with this injury the past few weeks, and he's played through it, so he will likely be playing as well. So those are all the injuries coming into, fr not Friday's game, that is today, Sunday night's game. It's going to be an exciting matchup. I'm excited. I bet you are very excited as well. It should be fun. I'll be out with a reaction video after the game. Hopefully, it's a very positive, exciting reaction and not a sad reaction. I'm going to expect a positive reaction um, because... That's what I'm going to think. is That's what I predict is going to happen, to be honest. So feel free, as I said, if you want to watch my prediction preview video, I'll link it down below. Maybe it'll pop up here. Maybe not. But that's all I have for this video, and I'll see you guys next time.